So this is the brand new Aurora Pro PJ92 by Nexigo. It's an ultra short throw 4K Dolby Vision projector. With its bright 2400 lumens, it doesn't matter whether you're in a dark room or whether the room is light, it's gonna give you a very watchable image. And for gamers, stick around, there's some great gaming news. Don't forget to hit the red button to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and click the notification bell to get my next video first. So last year we looked at the Aurora PJ90 and we were really impressed with not only the design but also the picture quality and it was packed full of specs. So when the team from Nexigo reached out to me and said did I want to take a look at the Aurora Pro, this the PJ92, well obviously I said yes. So they've sent it across but they've not asked me to say anything good or bad about it and all of the views expressed will be my own. There are a few upgrades on this machine and so I'm really looking forward to seeing it. Now the first thing to mention is this is a lot bigger. So the design has completely changed from last year's and it's got a much more futuristic feel to it. Yes, it's bigger, but it still looks really good. The grill at the front with those LED lights, I think are a nice touch. And you've still got that material mesh, which covers the speaker. The speakers on this thing, by the way, are incredible. There are still two chrome dials either side so that you can adjust the height of the projector and you've got the vents on the side, a simple on and off button and some minimal branding on top. Now at the back of this projector, you've got multiple connections. There's three HDMI ports, the first one being eARC. You've also got two USB ports, but there's also another one on the side, an audio out and also an optical out, as well as an ethernet port. And then the power is just underneath. Now this thing looks stunning when it's on. I love that matte black finish. It really does look impressive. And this year we've got an upgraded remote, which is backlit. So that is definitely a bonus. Now there's some big changes this year. You do get HDMI 2.1 support giving you 4K at 120 Hertz. This gives you three ports with reduced latency of just as low as 12 milliseconds. You get enhanced color with 107% of the BT2020 color gamut and there's support for Dolby Vision. The speakers are 60 watt speakers, two 15 watt speakers and two 15 watt tweeters and there is Dolby Atmos support as well. So if you're a gamer and you've wanted a big screen to game on, then this could be the perfect ultra short throw projector for you. So as always, if you do notice any screen flickering during the course of these demos, then that is not visible in reality. It's just down to the camera frequency as I'm recording. So there is an operating system, it's based on Android, but it's not really my favorite. If I was you, I would definitely use a Roku device, a Fire Stick, an Apple TV, something along those lines, because you'll get far better results and you get access to all of the main apps. But you do have a good setting screen here. It's very simple to operate. You can navigate through all of the different options and there's quite a lot in here to change as well. There are extra features like brightness mode where you can go in and just have standard or regular brightness but you can also go in and tweak the color settings a lot more if you go into image parameters then you can go in there and make lots of different changes now I've got it in custom at the moment but you've got standard and you've got brightest and then you can go down to the bottom and go into advanced color management and here you can really fine-tune the picture to your heart's content however what I would say is that the standard mode and brightness in high brightness is pretty good right at of the box. The keystone operation is simple and it's very familiar if you've seen this type of video before. You have either four or eight points so that you can get an ideal screen fitting to your preference depending on what you're going to be projecting against. And I also found that the electronic focus worked really well. It was pin sharp in all four corners so there wasn't any issue there at all. As well as electronic focus, you also have MEMC, which is motion enhancement and motion compensation, and this helps to give you true motion. I found that in low setting, it was the best. The projection mode, you can have this ceiling mounted if you want to, so you can also flip it round. 
Okay, so we're going to start with gaming. Now, gaming is a big feature on this projector because with those three HDMI 2.1 4K at 120Hz, you're getting ultra low latency. And for you professional gamers out there or serious gamers, then that is something really big for this type of projector. There are not that many that have 4K at 120Hz, certainly not in this price range. So it's incredible to use, it's super quick and super responsive, and the picture is absolutely fantastic. Again, don't worry about any flicker you see on the screen, that is not there in reality, that's just my camera that I'm recording it with. But the contrast is great, the black level detail is brilliant, and the color accuracy just feels brilliant. So as you probably know by now, I'm a massive fan of gaming on a big screen. It just feels so much more immersive. This is a 100 inch screen that I'm projecting on and just sat a few feet away, about six feet away. It is just awe inspiring. It really is incredible. Now the speakers on this thing are really impressive as well and I'm gonna turn the volume up in just a second so that you can experience it. I know it's a little bit difficult in this type of format for you to really get an idea, but I do have to say this is one of the best speaker systems I've seen on an ultra short throw laser projector. So I think that's as good a place as any to move on to the next section, which is just standard normal TV. Now we all know that projectors come into their own in dark conditions, but I truly believe if you're buying a premium projector, it should be able to handle light conditions also, and even for watching standard normal TV. Now this projector does a great job. As you can see, the blinds open, it's around 11 o'clock in the morning, and the picture quality is great. Obviously in the darkest of scenes, it's gonna be more noticeable, but in the everyday action that's going on, it's producing great colors, lifelike colors, very realistic with the color accuracy, and it's definitely very watchable. And just so that you've got a full comparison, I'll lower the blind now and you can see that the picture starts to pop off of the screen. The 2400 NSI lumens are working really well and this is a tri-laser projector, so therefore the color accuracy and the brightness definitely is far more enhanced than some others. Now obviously to get the best out of the projector, the room needs to be pretty dark, but when you do get that room dark, your picture is going to be incredible. The sharpness I've been so impressed with. The detail, as you can see in the trees on the edges and also right in the middle is just insanely sharp. It really does look impressive and it doesn't really matter what you put through this projector, it's going to look this good. I'll show you a bit of Dolby Vision content in a minute because that also looks exceptional. So I've tried to include a number of different colors, a number of different tones, and also different lighting, so that you're getting a really balanced idea of how good this projector picture is. And I do have to say it is really, really impressive, and I hope that's coming across in this video now. So this year having the support of Dolby Vision content is again a big advantage. One thing that I did notice is that I did have to dial back the reds very slightly on Dolby Vision content. I don't know why, it just seemed a little bit more enhanced, but once I'd done that, it was brilliant. So I'm projecting on a 100 inch screen from around about six inches away from the wall. So that's what makes these ultra short throw projectors so really convenient. You don't need to have wires going everywhere. Everything can sit right in front of the screen. So the Aurora Pro will project up to 150 inches really easily. And that really does give that cinema feeling right at your home. So in summary, my friends, let me just go over some of the main features. Obviously, the design of this machine is great. The low latency gaming is just fantastic. The color accuracy being 107% of the BT2020 color gamut is definitely an advantage and obviously having Dolby Vision. The contrast on this at 3000 to 1 on the Fofo rating is definitely something which was impressive and definitely noticeable right out of the box. But I think it's going to be gamers that are going to be moving towards this, somebody that wants an incredible movie machine, but also for gaming. And the sound, I can't get over how good the sound is on this machine. It goes so loud, you will be asked to turn it down. And it will support 3D if you're interested in 3D movies too. So my friends, I think that this is a great addition to any home cinema setup. It looks absolutely fantastic and it delivers a great picture. So this is the Nexigo Aurora Pro PJ92. Check out the link in the description for more information and to see what the latest price is.